the beautiful city of Miami Beach, tourists enjoy white sands, cooling salt water, good food, and a relaxed atmosphere. About eight miles away lies the improper city of Obertown, with a census of over 700 that are homeless. The local church, New Hope International's ministry, prepares hot meals for the homeless. Pastor Charles Turner of Inham emphasizes on the importance of feeding the less fortunate. One of the ways to make the calling sure of a minister is to meet all the areas, not just to pray for people, not just to lead people to Christ and for salvation, not just to experience the miracles and the healings and the deliverance, but also to feed those that are hungry. General, a homeless man shares his gratitude. I was walking, trying to, you know, get everybody situated, right? Okay. And I said, Lord, I'm hungry. Feed me. And look what happened. Y'all heard my prayer. Yeah. And I'm very grateful. Thank you. Over 80 people in need received plates and sandwiches, so much so that they ran out of food. Prophetess Marilyn shares more. Our hearts were great because there were so many people in need. You know, we can see from the news, we can see from our neighbors and from everything that's going on in the world that there are homeless and there are people who are hungry. But we don't really understand that hunger is right in our neighborhood. It's right in our backyard. When we went out, it was just an amazing feeling to be able to hand a hot meal to someone who hadn't eaten for four days. But it was also a grievous feeling to where when you had that last sandwich and you have a group of people coming to you asking you if there's more food. You just wanted to hold on to that last sandwich because you didn't want to run out of food. Alexander Zonka, co-founder of Pick Up a Mill, was in the midst of the mission field. He too was once homeless. Like the Bible says, uh, the harvest is great, but the workers are few. Um, there's just so many of them. They've been kicked to the curb. Uh, they've been swept under the rug. They've been put in places where society doesn't run into them. Majority of the people believe that they're there because they want to be there. And that's not the case at all. But they're there. It, it doesn't keep them from being there. And, and, and it needs to be addressed. Over 4,000 forgotten citizens are living on the streets of Miami, lacking food, shelter, and funds. Churches like In Him encourages other communities to become active by being a voice and giving back to the less fortunate. I am Wesley Latang for FIU Bay News.